Top 5 Steps to Understand Sales Cycle Stages and Length It can take a long time to attract and engage with leads and move them through the buyer's journey. Realistically, the entire process can take months. Every lead requires resources and attention throughout the process. For any business, that timeline is far from ideal, especially if unforeseen obstacles draw it out even longer. That is why eliminating challenges to shorten your sales cycle is an advantage. What is a sales cycle? Your sales cycle is made up of every action that you, as a salesperson, make to close a new customer. This is not with a sales methodology, which is the framework in which you practice your sales cycle. Instead, the cycle is the step-by-step -step process of moving your leads down their individual journeys. Understanding your sales cycle gives you and your business a closer look at the efficiency of your sales operations. By tracking and analyzing the length of the cycle, you can see how your business compares to the rest of the industry. Understanding Sales Cycle Stages and Length To fully comprehend how it comes into play, you need to understand the five clear stages of a sales cycle. Number 1. Prospect Prospecting is where the real labor takes place. You are finding leads, identifying them as sales qualified, and matching them to your buyer personas. This stage is all in an effort to find leads that are going to be the best fit for your business. Number 2. Connect. Finding prospects is only the first half of the battle. It is important that you connect with new leads and spark a relationship quickly. If you have a mutual acquaintance, ask to be introduced. Practice social selling to increase your engagement on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Contact them over phone or email. Number 3. Research. Upon finding an interested prospect, your next step should be finding out as much information as possible about them. What company are they with? How did they find you? Make a discovery call to find out their needs and if you are able to meet those needs. Studying up on a lead will help you further qualify them for your business. Number 4. Presentation. This is where you and your team build a pitch directly speaking to a prospect's specific business needs. Each presentation should be customized to each unique prospect. Usually, you are speaking to a team of decision makers to answer any questions that they may have. Before we go to number one, I would like to tell you that this video is sponsored by rtrsupportslimited.com. RTR Supports Limited can provide UK company and bank account in one day. Please visit rtrsupportslimited.com for more information. Number 5. Close the sale. Every salesperson is waiting for this moment. If there are any questions or concerns remaining from the prospect, they are addressed during this stage. After all the details are fleshed out, it is time to close. You will receive either a yes or no. If you get a yes, a contract is drawn up, reviewed, and signed. If it is a no, which does not necessarily mean it is time to give up. Inquire about what their hesitations are. If you are unable to find a solution, then it is time to walk away for the time being. Seeing how each stage plays into you landing a new customer, it is obvious how important sales cycle management can be. Evaluating each stage, looking at what is working well and what can be improved, can define the success of your entire sales process, especially when it comes to long sales cycles. Thanks for watching. Please share your reviews and ask if you have any questions regarding this video in the comment section below, we'll answer you shortly. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos.